So in this video, I wanna do an unboxing, a setup, and a comparison with the Nintendo Switch Lite. And as the name implies, Lite is pretty much how the packaging comes with. So inside the box, you basically get the Nintendo Switch itself, and you get the USB charging cable that you would expect, USB Type-C. It's the same charging cable that you get with the regular Nintendo Switch packaging. So comparing the Switch Lite to its bigger brother, the Nintendo Switch, you'll see that the Switch Lite is really focused on being much more of a portable gaming console. I think it's really aimed at trying to get those 3DS users to upgrade to the Switch platform, given that it's a much cheaper price point than the bigger console in Nintendo Switch but it's coming in a much more portable package. It's coming with a 5.5 inch display at 720p resolution. So the same resolution as you get with the bigger one, but this is gonna look a little bit more crisper since it's gonna have a little bit smaller of a display. There isn't any separate Joy-Con controllers. The controls are all attached and built in with the Nintendo Switch Lite itself. So that's going to leave out any motion controls, any IR blasters, and also HD Rumble isn't included with the Nintendo Switch Lite either. There also isn't a kickstand either, so you're not gonna have kickstand mode. There also isn't going to be a TV mode either because this doesn't come with a docking station and it's not compatible with plugging into a docking station to be able to play this on the TV. This is really focused on being a portable gaming console. So those are the things you really need to keep in mind here with it. But it's supposed to have a little bit better battery life here with it, roughly around 3.5 to seven hours, depending on what type of game that you're playing. So you're gonna get some advantages there with that. So next thing I did here was I wanted to transfer my data from my Switch to my Switch Lite and keep both accounts linked. Unfortunately, Nintendo has not made this easy or thought this out very, very well. So basically to do this, you need to sign in to your Nintendo account and link the Nintendo account to it to be able to start a data transfer process. The problem with that is that you actually need to do an update before you can do that. So you can't even sign in until you do the update. So basically you need to create a fake account or basically a temporary account on the console, do the update, and then be able to sign in later to do the data transfer. And you have to do it on both consoles here and it just makes it a lot more difficult. And in the end, I did get my data transferred over, but uh, it was just more cumbersome than it should be. I have a video coming up about that and showing you how to do the data transfer with this coming up real soon. But Nintendo really needs to rethink this process to make this a lot easier than what it is currently. But once I got all my data transferred, everything set up, ready to go, I was ready to game. And so far I've had a pretty cool experience here with it. It's, uh, I like it a lot better than I actually expected to, to be honest with you so far. I, I think it's because it's nice and compact. It feels really, really good in the hand. It actually feels better in the hand to me than the bigger Nintendo Switch right now. I really wanna put the battery life to the test and some of the portability. I'm not sure how pocketable this is gonna be. They kind of make it, try to make it sound like it is. Not quite sure if it's gonna be that pocketable, but I do feel this is gonna be nice and portable and really something that's gonna be really nice for doing some really quick gaming here with and getting the power that you get with the Nintendo Switch. You're gonna get some really nice high quality games. So I'm really excited to really jump into this, dive in and give you my full thoughts on this coming up real soon. So definitely check out for the video for that coming up real soon. Thanks for watching and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.